Hey everybody, Mr. MathBlog here, and this one is on equivalent fractions. Uh, this is lesson uh, 9-7 in our textbook, and don't forget all your lessons can be found at www.mrmathblog.com, and a whole bunch more. All right, there's our common core strand, our essential questions. How can we use models to name equivalent fractions? So we have a few examples here. Here's the first one. Jaron and his three friends are sharing a large pizza equally. The pizza was cut into eighths. What are two ways to describe the part of the pizza that each friend ate? Okay, so how many people share the pizza? Okay, well it says there's three friends, but don't forget about Jaron. Jaron and his three friends makes four people, okay? So uh, let's go ahead and answer this. What are the two ways... Um, uh, what are two ways to describe the part of the pizza each friend ate? Okay, well, here's one way, you guys. They can divide it up into four. So this could be Jaron, and this could be his one, two, three friends right there. So they can divide it up into fourth size pieces, or they can cut it up into those eight pieces, and they can each take um, uh, two pieces. So this would still be Jaron right here, and this would be his one of his friends. This would be one of his friends, and this would be one of his friends. So each person would get uh, two pieces of pizza. So Jaron grouped the smaller pieces into twos. Show uh, the equal groups of two pieces to show what each person ate. So I circled these in blue, a blue pen right here. So again, here's Jaron right here, and here's one friend, two friend, three friend. So uh, if you just circle those right there. So there are four equal groups. Uh, each group is one-fourth of the whole pizza because there's four equal groups. So each friend eats one-fourth of the pizza. So how many eighth size... Uh, how many eights did each friend uh, eat? Well, each friend gets, um, there's there, there's eight pieces being cut up here, and each friend, including Jaron, gets two pieces, okay? So, uh, one-fourth and two-eighths are equivalent fractions, since they both name the same amount of the pizza right there, okay? All right, um, so one-fourth and two-eighths of the pizza are two ways to describe the part of the pizza that each friend ate, okay? All right. Uh, let's see, so circle equal groups. So write an equivalent fraction for the shaded part of the whole group. So it looks like there's eight equal pieces right here. So here there are shaded four of them. So this represents four eight. So there's two different, there's a write an equivalent fraction. So what we could do is circle these. Uh, this is one group right here, and this is another equal group. So there's two equal groups, and one of them's being shaded. So this four eight is the same as one half right there. Okay, uh, and then so explain a different way we could have circled the, uh, the groups equally. Okay, so what we could have done was circled uh, two of them at a time. And so when we circle two of them at a time, there are four equal groups, and then two of them are shaded. This one in red and this one in red. So four eighths also equals two out of four, or two fourths right there. Okay, uh, so let's model a problem. Sloan did three sixths of her chores. Jordan, Jordan did four eighths of his chores. Who did more chores? Okay, so we've made a, uh, uh, this is supposed to be one hole, and this is one hole also, and this red right here is the same size as this blue right here. So these both represent one whole, except since Sloan did three sixths, and we divided this up into six, and since Jordan did four eighths, we divided this up into eighths. So this says uh, shade three six of Sloan's chore. So we'll shade the top three right here. And then we'll uh, shade four eighths of Jordan chore. So we'll shade those top four right there, okay? So uh, um, is three six greater, less than, or equal to four eighths? Well, look, at they're both the top half. It's just you know, um, this 3 6 is the same amount as this 4 8 because this is uh, one half of the chores right here. And then on Jordan's, this is also one half of the chores right here. So they're the same, you guys. So they're equal to. Okay, so they both did the same amount of chores right there. Okay, kind of a trick question. All right, try this. Each shape is one whole. This one's kind of um, kind of trickery here. It's kind of deceiving. So write an equivalent fraction for the shaded part of the models. Okay, so so this is in terms of looks like, and I'm just looking at this right here. Six thirds. That represents this one right here. These are cut up into thirds right here. They're into equal thirds, and there's six of them. Three of them here shaded, and three of them here shaded. So there's six-thirds shaded over here. Now, six-thirds is the same as two right here. Okay, now over here, these holes are cut up into sixths. 
And so there's there's one, two, three, four, five, six right here. There's six more over here. So there's 12 of them being shaded over here. And these two um, uh, holes equal these two holes right here. So this 6 thirds is going to equal this 12 sixths over here. Okay. All right. Hope that makes sense, you guys. All right. All right, everybody. Take care.